Greetings and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 1998 action comedy film Small Soldiers, directed by Joe Dante and starring Gregory Smith and Kirsten Dunst. Let's begin. When top defense contractor Globotech Industries acquires the Heartland Toy Company, CEO Gil Mars commissions toy designers Larry Benson and Irvin Wayfair to develop toys capable of playing back. <coughs> Mars selects Larry's Commando Elite action figures for the project, with Irwin's Gorgonites, peaceful monsters intended to be educational toys as their enemies. Facing a tight deadline, Larry unwittingly equips the toys with Globotech's X1000 microprocessor. Working at his family's toy store, teenager Alan Abernathy persuades delivery driver Joe to give him a shipment of the new Globotech toys, activating Major Chip Hazard, head of the Commando Elite, and Archer, the Gorgonite's leader. <coughs> Alan develops a crush on his neighbor, Christy Fimple, and returns home to discover Archer in his backpack, realizing the toys are essentially self-aware and capable of learning. That night, Chip Hazard activates his co comrades to attack the Gorgonites and Alan finds the store in disarray and the new toy is missing. Christy helps clean up and Alan calls Globotech to file a complaint. Larry and Irwin hear his message and discover the X-1000 is a military-grade artificial intelligence chip susceptible to EMPs. Following Alan home, the commando elite interrogate Archer, and, but Alan intervenes and is wounded by Nick Nitro, whom he partially destroys in the garbage disposal. His parents hear the commotion, but refuse to believe his explanation about the toys. Alan and Archer find the Gorgonites hiding in the store's dumpster. Unlike the militant commando elite, the Gorgonites were programmed with Irwin's original friendly and inquisitive personalities and merely seek to find their home, which they believe to be in Yosemite National Park. Tapping the Abernathy's phone line, the commando elite learn of Alan's interest in Christy. Infiltrating her house, they capture her younger brother Timmy, sedate their parents and use Nick Nitro's eye chip to transform Christy's Gwendy fashion dolls into reinforcements. <coughs> Taking Christy hostage, they demand that Alan surrender the Gorgonites. Alan and Archer sneak into the Fimple's house and rescue Christy. The commando elite pursue them with improvised vehicles built in the Fimple's garage, but are destroyed in a fiery crash. Only Chip Hazard survives. At the Abernathy's house, Alan, Christy and the Gorgonites try to convince their families of the truth about the toys, and Irwin and Larry arrive to talk to Alan about his voicemail. <clears throat> Chip Hazard arrives with a new army of, of commando elite and more improvised vehicles and weapons, having hijacked a recall shipment driven by Joe and lays siege to the house, cutting off the electricity. When Irwin suggests an EMP, the group realizes that they can overload the nearby power lines. Christy, Irwin and Larry make their way to the Fumple's house to ensure a larger surge, and the Gorgonites emerge and fight back against the commando elite. Climbing the utility pole, Alan is attacked by Chip Hazard, who battles and defeats Archer, but Alan thrusts him into the power transformers as Larry and Irwin Wedge open the breakers, triggering the EMP blast and destroying the toys. In the morning, as the authorities clear up the aftermath, Mars arrives by helicopter, paying off Joe and both families for the damage, and instructs Larry and Irwin to repurpose the commando elite for military use. Alan and Christy start a relationship, and he discovers that the Gorgonites survived the EMP underneath the Fimple satellite dish. Alan brings the Gorgonites to Yosemite, sharing a goodbye before sending them off in his father's toy boat to find their home. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below letting me know which movie you'd like to see me do next. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.